So your Angular app is required to be able to play some videos, but you don't really know where to start. Your legacy app used some JavaScript library, but it's not that smooth to use with TypeScript and Angular. So let me recommend to you guys NGX Videogular. It's quick and easy to set up with a lot of custom features for the look and feel of the video player and the ability to access the API to control functionality from the code. So let me show you guys how to add it to your Angular project. Now that we're at the project guys, you guys can see that I'm using an Angular 16 application. We're going to be using the project that we use for the Angular carousel video. So if you guys remember that one, we have this one, but now we're going to switch it up and we're just going to reuse this project to do the video player. So putting that down, let's now go in and add in our packages. So I'm just going to quickly kill the application. And this is the first command that we have to run npm install videogular backslash and GX videogular dash dash save click enter. And something that is very important is that when you look at the docs, which all the docs to this package and all the code for this project will be on the GitHub and the link will be in the description, as well as all the documentation and everything that I read to get this to work will be also linked below. But make sure in the documentation that you look at the version of Angular that you have and the uh, version of the package that you are downloading because they need to be uh, equals. If not, you're going to have some weird errors that I ran across. So just make sure that, you know, whatever the documentation says that, you know, this version of video Angular and this version of Angular that they are equal so that you don't run into any weird things. And the other package that we have to install is going to be npm install at types backslash core JS dash dash save press enter. And now that we have those two done, we now need to go and add the icon fonts. So you're going to have to open up your angular .js, go down to your styles and you're going to need to copy in this line. So it's going to go right here and it's going to be this node modules backslash video angular and then the fonts and the CSS that the video player is going to need. And now that you're done with this, this is all that we really needed to import. Now we can go ahead and actually start creating our component where our video player is actually going to go. So now what I'm going to do to actually create our video player component, I'm going to open up the terminal. I'm going to do ng g generate component. Uh, it's going to be called video player. And we're going to do a standalone component. And then I believe I'm just going to dry run it to make sure that it is going to be created where I want it to. Let's just see. Cool. It looks like it's going to be created correctly. Let's get rid of that and now run it. And now we're creating our video player component. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the routing and I'm going to change this carousel component to video player component. So let's do that. So now this one's going to load. It's going to load into this. It won't load into the carousel with the dog pictures. With the video player component open and this being a standalone component, we need to import all the modules that we're going to use for the video player in here. So we're going to go and grab all of these and we're going to go move them right in here. So we're going to need the VG API service for accessing all the API stuff, VG core module, VG controls, VG overlay and VG buffering. And now we're going to bring them all into our imports. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we have everything imported into here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is actually go in and add in all the HTML that we're going to need. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to move everything that we're going to need into here. And then I will go ahead and explain what is going on in here. And again, for this project, I'm going to be pulling in this uh, video. That is one of my last videos over the angular carousel. Again, little plug. If you guys want to go watch that video, there should be a card at the top, but that's the video that I'm going to be using. And it is going to be a static asset that's in my assets folder, but you are not limited to this. If you're going to have a URL to some blob storage where your videos are at some streaming service or any of that type of stuff, they are all valid and work with this video player. I have tried them all out. So going back to our code that we have here, we're going to have the VG player. This is like the very big encompassing um, tag for the video player itself. This tag right here is going to be for the specific overlay that goes over it with the play button. This is going to be for buffering and loading in the video. This scrub bar is going to be a container for more controls. And then here are going to be all those controls. So this is going to be the play and pause buttons, the playback button. This is going to be showing all the time displays of how much time is left in the video and how long the video is, I believe, or how much time is left. One of those two. Then you have the track selector. If you have multiple videos, you can, you know, at, create a little playlist and you can select from a drop down. You can mute it set the volume, and then you can set it to full screen. So this is where you can set all these controls. And I believe there's a few more options, but you can set all these custom. And this is how you do that. Then here's your video tag. This is what the actual video is. Uh, you can set and 
you can set multiple events as we're going to see right here because that's where you tap in to this API right here, this API service. And I'll show you guys how to do one example of them. Again, link in the documentation to all the different types of events that you can actually, you know, plug into and control if you want to. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys just one to just show you guys how you need to do it. Uh, you need to have this hashtag media. You give it an ID. So if you need to target it for some reason, uh, you can auto preload it. You can set the source here. Again, this can be some type of URL to anywhere else on the internet. It doesn't have to be specifically to something in your assets folder and cross origin. And then that is basically all you have here. But now let's uh, go set up the API in the TS file so that we get rid of any little errors that we have. And you guys can see how you access those API events. The example I want to go through of showing you guys how to access the API is going to be set the functionality for auto playing the video when it loads or opens or however you want to do it. By default, it won't auto play. You have to click the big play button. So let's go ahead and start working on that. We're going to do it in this preload string called auto. We're going to set this API. It's going to be as a new uh, VG API service. And then we're going to create this on player ready, which is basically the you know, that event method that happens once the player is loaded and ready to go. So we need to create that and we do that this way. Here we have this on player ready. We're passing in the source, which this source is coming from this event right here, the VG API service. We're going to get that source and tie it to right here, the API, obviously same types. Uh, we're just going to print this so that we know, and I can show you guys kind of in, when we inspect that we hit this method. And then we're going to get the default media and inside of here, we're going to call this autoplay method and we're going to bind it in here and subscribe to it. And now I have to create this autoplay method. This autoplay method will be as follows. We're going to do this. It's going to be autoplay right here. It's going to be this one. I'm going to do another console log just to show you guys that we're in the play. And then it's going to be this dot API dot play, basically telling it automatically, Hey, just start playing. Don't wait till someone clicks. And like I said, there are a bunch of other APIs you can hit and call and set whatever things that you want or access whatever information that you want. You would just set them all up in kind of the same way. But now that we have this, this is all the code that we have. And now we can go ahead and test this and I can show you guys how this all works inside of Angular. And if you guys are finding this video helpful, please drop a like on this video so we can spread the more developers on YouTube. Thank you. And now that we have this open, I can show you guys what we have here. So we obviously have this big play overlay. If I right click it, you can see that we went into those API methods. We can say on player ready and that play. If we go back to the code, we can see that in the code we are hitting and are inside of these methods right here. So this is how you guys can actually access the API. And like I said, there's play, there's pause, there's all these different other types of methods you can access the media that's being played you could change the you could change the source of what media is being played based on like you know you changing something with some other button click uh, you could change whatever video is being played as well you could load something else in so there's a lot of options for how to access the api and i just want to show you guys what you're capable of there uh, but going back obviously we have all this stuff you know the overlays the big play button we can go back to our project big play you have playback speed here so you can have it in two, you can have it slow, you can have it in normal. Uh, here's the time you know that it's counting down. This is how long the video is. Uh, captions, but I believe you have to load in a text file if you have closed captions. You can set the video here. You can go full screen. This is all the functionality that you have in here. And all you really have to do, let me pause this, is you have to use this code. And this is all you have to do. It's that simple, and this is all you need to have a quality Angular video player in your Angular project. And now that you are able to add a video player to your Angular project, maybe you could also use a quick and easy to use carousel for some images. If so, click right here.